two new commits. We got to dive in and we talk all about it today on Locked On Golden Gophers. Hey, you are no Locked On Golden Gophers. No matter what we're going to do here, we're just going to keep rowing. Your daily podcast on the Minnesota uh, Golden out, Gophers. Whatever turns out, we're just going to keep rowing. Part of the Locked On Podcast Network. Your team every day. We're just going to keep rowing, keep rowing, and keep rowing. You're listening to Locked On Golden Gophers, part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. My name's Kane Robb, host of the podcast, former collegiate football video coordinator and recruiting assistant, here to talk Golden Gophers with you each and every day of the week, Monday through Friday. Now I know. I know that I was slacking. I was slacking. We didn't get a Friday or a Monday show. I've been haywire over here at home as my wife and I are getting ready to go on our honeymoon vacation. We got married back in May, but we planned the vacation for now in December to get out of the winter. So things have been touch and go as I've been getting ready for that. So I am getting making sure we get all the content ready for you before I head out on that vacation. So it's been a little slow, but it will be back up Monday through Friday starting today. So we're back at it again. Today, we're talking about some of the shifts for the Gophers football team that is headed our way, including transfers coming in. But be sure to follow wherever you get your podcast at Locked On Golden Gophers and hit subscribe while you're over on YouTube. Leave a comment about what you're thinking with this offseason so far, what you're curious about, what you want to talk more about. Now, tomorrow, we're going to talk a little basketball. We're going to get more basketball in this week. We've got a whole bunch of good topics headed for this week's show, so you're not going to want to miss out. So be sure to hit subscribe. Now, let's dive in. The latest update with the Gophers right now for the football team, Raylan Oliver officially entered the transfer portal. Uh, so that's another player hitting the portal from that Gophers defense. Braylon Oliver played 345 total snaps in the 2022 season. He had seven total pressures as far as like blitzing pressure pressures. He had one sack and six hurries. On top of that, he had 18 tackles, seven assisted tackles, but he also missed 10 tackles. So you hate to see the missed tackles, but he had key production for this Gophers defense. Now, missed tackles weren't the only struggle for Oliver this year, as Oliver also had an 82.4 reception rate against him. He gave up 14 receptions on being targeted 17 times. Now, Braylon Oliver was a good player on the defense, even with the flaws of mixed tackles and the issues in coverage, but he was a hard hitter. He brought massive energy to this Gophers defense, and when he made a hit, he let you know it, and you could feel it as the fans, you could feel it as teammates, and those things are intangible that help pump up the defense, help get them the energy to make stops on third downs, to make key plays. So the energy that he brings and the hard hitting that he brings will definitely be missed on this Gopher squad. On top of that, he also overcame a massive injury in 2020, terrible knee injury. He was a comeback player, a great story of overcoming extreme adversity, and you hate to see him go, but hopefully we wish him nothing but the best and success as he moves forward, and overall, we're going to miss him. So that brings us now to seven players that have hit the transfer portal, actually seven and a half, seven and a half. We've got Gage Keys hitting the portal, Jalen Glaze hitting the portal, Steven Ortiz hitting the portal, Cameron James. Austin Booker, Flip Dixon, and Braylon Oliver. Now, Braylon Oliver and Flip Dixon were the heaviest minutes played out of those transfer portals. The rest of them are really looking for more opportunities, hence why hitting the portal. But those two, Flip Dixon and Braylon Oliver, played a good amount of snaps, a heavy amount of snaps in key roles, so those departures will be felt a little bit more. But I said seven and a half. How could there be a half? Well, there's not a half a football player. So the reason I said seven and a half is because of the quick flip of Marcus Allen. Marcus Allen hit the transfer portal from Wisconsin, committed to the Gophers. Then two weeks later, posts that his recruitment is 100% open, then deletes his committed graphic, then deletes his 100% reopen tweet, and then gets out of the transfer portal and goes back to Wisconsin. Now, Talk about a player who does not know what they want. 
don't have their mind made up. And you know what? Best of luck to you. But I hope you got to touch the axe on the way when you committed here because we're keeping it here in Minnesota and it might have been the only chance for you to see it in your career going back to Madison. So that quick flip gives us that seven and a half, like I said. Now, these transfers should each find some success success with larger opportunities. Again, the most impactful will be Oliver and Dixon, who both played major snaps on a defense that was one of the top defenses in the country. Now, how will the Gophers fill these departures? Well, some help is on the way for the Gophers, and they have received two transfers, which we're going to talk about coming up next. But first... This episode is brought to you by our friends at LinkedIn Jobs. These days, every new hire or every new potential hire can feel like a high stakes wager for your small business. You want to be 100% certain that you have the access to the best qualified candidates available. That's why you have to check out LinkedIn Jobs. LinkedIn Jobs helps you find the right people for your team faster and for free. That's right free, not $1, not a $5 test run, free 99 minus the 99. It's straight up free. So definitely check it out. You create a free job post, then you add your job in a purple hiring frame next to your LinkedIn profile to help spread the word and tell others that you're hiring. Then you can use simple tools like screening questions to make it easy to focus on the candidates with the right skills for your position kick off the new year right by getting that right hire. So post about your job for free at LinkedIn Jobs. Like all you have to do is go to linkedin.com slash locked on college. Again, that's linkedin.com slash locked on college to post about your job for free. Terms and conditions apply. Now, again, thank you for listening to Locked On Golden Gophers and making us your number one listen when it comes to Gophers daily sports. Now we're in that weird swing where football is slowly kind of moving out, even though we're always going to talk recruiting, we're going to talk changes, we're going to talk spring ball. So we're always talking a little bit of football here and there, but we got to work in some more basketball and I have to get you some hockey experts here on the show. So Definitely stay tuned for those as they come and be sure to hit subscribe so you don't miss a single episode. Now, we're talking about additions. We're talking about guys that have committed from the transfer portal, not Marcus Allen anymore, but we've got Ryan Salig. He's a linebacker grad transfer from Western Michigan. Now, in 2022, he had 73 total tackles, 38 solo, and 35 assisted and a one and a half sacks, as well as a forced fumble, a fumble recovery, and two pass breakups. So he kind of did it all. He was a jack of all trades when it came to that linebacker position. Now, he played 747 total snaps with a 70.7 pass rush grade on PFF. He had 41 defensive stops as well, which are really big stops on the defense that are impact plays on the defense, so 41 throughout the season. And he gave up 20 receptions on 30 targets, so a 66 reception rate on him, but only for 182 yards and zero touchdowns. So even though they might have caught short passes on him, that he didn't give up very many yardage and no scoring opportunities. Now, he also saw a healthy amount of time in 2021 as well. So he has decent playing experience at that MAC level, and he saw... 63 total tackles, 42 solo, and 21 assisted, four and a half sacks, so a bigger sack production in that 2021 season, and then he had two fumble recoveries and one interception. Now, the thing that is intriguing is he has that ability to get to the quarterback, which the Gophers desperately needed this past season, and he has created turnovers in both seasons, so hopefully that trend continues as he moves up to the Big Ten level of play. Now, It should be a solid addition to the linebacker room, which is pretty sparse with contributing players or contributing returners heading into the next season. Now, Cody Lindenberg is going to be a key in this room. You'll probably see Lucas Finnessy also getting opportunities as well, but this will be a great addition. He mentioned that he believes he's going to be playing the Mike linebacker, so the middle linebacker position for the Gophers, and he'll work in tandem with Cody Lindenberg, who will be a key returning vet for this team and possibly the best linebacker that Coach Fleck has had here 
in his time. He showed massive flash- flashes in this season, made a massive strides as the season went on, and I cannot wait to see what he does knowing he's going to have the expectations of being that guy moving forward. But back to Ryan. Ryan solely has one year of eligibility left if I am looking into this correctly. So if he can learn quick and he can be a great communicator on the field, plus bringing that energy, kind of like we said with Braylon Oliver, and we know that Mariano Seri Marin has brought as well, then he should find some valuable opportunity for the Gophers on this team with the Rossi system on defense. Now, other guys to still keep in mind are Maverick Baranowski and Tyler Stolsky. They'll both probably try to call carve out roles in this next season. Season, Wow, talking a little too fast for you, but either way, Maverick Baranowski, the name of all names, a total football name, as Tristan and I have mentioned, and Tyler Stolsky should both carve out roles, even if they're minor roles, but start to try and get on the field starting next season those guys even brevin mentioned on our show where we brought him on that those two guys had stood out to him in some of those rofer periods over the season so those are two names to keep an eye out on the linebacker position as well but brian salig was not the only commit to the gophers from the transfer portal actually he wasn't even the only commit from his school That's right. We're going to talk about another transfer coming in from Western Michigan coming up next. But first, we have to talk about our friends over at Simply Safe. They're bringing you this episode today. And at Locked On Golden Gophers, we believe the home should be where you and your family feel safe, especially over the holidays. This season, give yourself and your family the gift of peace and protection with the number one rated home security system, Simply Safe. And right now, Simply Safe is offering Locked On Golden Gophers listeners 40% off a new security system, but don't put it off. Now, in an emergency, it has 24 7 professional monitoring agents that use Fast Protect technology exclusively from Simply Safe to capture critical evidence and verify that the threat is real. And that's my favorite part about this product is they verify that the threat is real before alerting the authorities or giving a false alarm so you can get higher priority police response. Now, the 24 24 seven professional monitoring service costs under $1 a day. That's less than half the price of a traditional home security system. So don't miss your chance to save big with my favorite security system, Simply Safe, and you can get 40% off any new system at simplysafe.com slash locked on college today. Again, that's simplysafe.com slash locked on college. There's no safe like Simply Safe. All right, Gophers fans, we are going to wrap this one up by talking about the additional transfer that committed from Western Michigan. Two teammates heading over to Minnesota, where the coach actually had briefly come from Western Michigan and our wide receivers coach or tight end coach, uh, Greg Harbo also came from Western Michigan. In fact, the ties that he had to Corey Crooms, who is the player who is headed our way, helped that decision in coming and choosing the Gophers. Now, Corey Crooms is a wide receiver out of Western Michigan, another transfer portal addition, and he is a slot receiver, which the Gophers haven't really had a designated slot guy. Didn't see a lot of slot opportunities, I should say. It was very inconsistent. That's where I'm trying to get to you. Now, Michael Brown Stevens saw a lot of slot work. Daniel Jackson worked in and out of the slot every once in a while, but played a lot on the outside. Dalen Wright played a lot on the outside. Chris Amon Bell played a little bit of both, but mainly on the outside. Lamecki Brockington played a little bit of both, but mainly on the outside. You're seeing where I'm going. The only slot receiver, true slot receiver, playing heavy, heavy slot snaps was Michael Brown Stevens. So to get another guy in that room to bring quality reps quality opportunities and snaps to this team at the position will be so helpful for this wide receiver room now like I said Michael Brown Stevens was that main slot guy so this will at least give him a little bit of competition moving forward some young guys to keep in mind as well so you've got Ike White you've got Dino Kaliak Manis 
Both of them, again, have played kind of both, but have played a lot on the outside. So the only other younger guy on the roster that has really looked to maybe be a slot type receiver is Christian Hoskins. Super blazing speed, could look to try to get some opportunities as well. But Corey Crooms, designated slot receiver has played on the outside but 78 percent of his snaps last season came from the slot now in 2022 Corey Crooms saw 57 receptions for 814 yards and five touchdowns you love that production on top of that he had a pff grade of 74.8 and the thing that you will love to hear, Gophers fans, and it's music to your ears, because I know it is, it's it's to mine. So it, it definitely is to yours as well, is that he has secure hands. He does not drop the ball off. And in fact, this past season, on his 57 receptions, he saw 116 total targets. So 116 total targets, 57 receptions. There's a lot of gaps in there, bad throws, contested plays, etc., but he only dropped three passes the entire season. So three drops on 116 targets. That is music to my ears. That being said, there were six interceptions in which he was being targeted or credited as the target when the ball was picked off. So hopefully not as many of those, but you love to see that low number of drops. Now he also saw production in 2021. So he's had back-to-back years of really good production at that receiver position. He had 44 receptions, 768 yards, and six touchdowns. So 11 touchdowns in the past two seasons combined, as well as over 1,500 yards in the past two seasons combined, and just under 100 receptions. Actually, no, one over 100 receptions, 101 receptions. So there it is. I mean, he's had a ton of rece- a ton of production in these past two years, and it is exciting to have another player in that wide receiver room to help give Ethan Kelly McManus some weapons to work with in the new season in 2023, because we're going to hopefully find that true balance with this offense, with another year of Kirk Shiraka, like we've talked about before, what we've seen in Kirk Shiraka's system from year one to two was a big jump. And from year to two, three was the biggest jump. So we're starting to prepare that room to take that next stride and hopefully find more success in more balance in the offense. Now that's going to do it for us on today's episode of Locked On Golden Gophers. Thank you for listening. Be sure to hit subscribe so you don't miss out on any information moving forward. Now tomorrow we're going to talk about the Gophers men's basketball team and why patience is key, but I am a little frustrated and we'll talk about why tomorrow. So be sure to tune in. Thanks again. This is Kane Rob signing off. Have a good one. Roll the boat, Skyima. Go Gophers.